Okay, here we go. We're going to continue with our jQuery tutorials. Uh, I already have jQuery downloaded. This is the second tutorial. If you have not watched the first one, so, uh, go ahead and watch it. Uh, there should be a link in the description or an annotation to the playlist uh, to where you can get to that. And we'll show you how to download the jQuery package. Um, so what we're going to do today uh, is kind of similar to last time, but we're going to start working with uh, div tag uh, ID tag or IDs for tags uh, rather than working with the tags themselves. So real quick here, uh, I've already got the basic uh, HTML written out here. What we're going to do is I'm going to say uh, inside. Well, let's first sorry. Let's first create something we can see. I'm going to say let's create a div tag. I'll give it an ID of my one. So that's its ID, and we'll close the tag here. Here we're going to uh, put in some elements. It can be anything. We'll put in a paragraph tag, uh, and we'll say this is some text. We'll close that paragraph tag, and we'll even put in. Uh, oh, you know what? Before that, we'll put a header. So we'll say h1. This is the header. One, save that, refresh over here. So you can see these are two separate tags, but they're grouped together with this div tag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, uh, I'll give a paragraph tag, just like we did in the first tutorial. We'll say, click me, close that. And uh, up here, what we'll do is we'll go into our script tag here. And I'm going to, once again, just like last time, we're going to say uh, document. So, oh, sorry, that should be inside parentheses. Style, dollar sign, parentheses, document. Then we're going to say ready. So we're saying once our document, our document is our basically our entire web page here. Once the document is ready, then we're going to run a function. So we're going to uh, put this like that. All right, we're going to run something, and the function we're going to run is function, and then we're going to say create the function here. Oops, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so this function within here, and before I forget, I want to put some braces here. Sorry, just trying to clean stuff up. So we're going to say. Um, find, just like we did last time, we'll say find all paragraph tags. So the dollar sign parentheses is saying we're looking for an element. What elements are we looking for? Well, if we give it a string, it's going to be, uh, by default, a tag. So we're going to find all the paragraph tags, and we're going to say dot click. So when they are clicked, what are we going to do? Well, when they're clicked, we're going to run this uh, function. I'm going to say, uh, oops, I already did that. Sorry. Uh, dollar sign this. Well, dollar sign this is what we did in the last tutorial, and that would make that element disappear. Or we can say, oops, P, and it's going to find uh, all the paragraph tags. But instead of paragraph tag, we want to get rid of a certain. Uh, in this case, group of elements within the div tag that has the ID of my one. So what we're going to do is inside uh, quotations, we're going to say pound, uh, number symbol, whatever you call it in your country. It's a little tic-tac-toe looking thing. I know it's called different things in different countries. I've got to say that or otherwise well, people will complain on what I call it. But we're going to say find the uh, div tag uh, that has the ID of my one, and then we'll say dot hide. We'll say parentheses because it's a function and a semicolon to end that command. So let's real quick review here. We're going to say uh, when our document, when our web page is ready, when it's done loading, we're going to run a function. This function is going to find all the paragraph tags, which we have two of here. Click me, and this is some text. And we're going to say um, uh, when it is clicked, so anything with a paragraph tag is clicked, we're going to run a function. That function is going to find uh, the div tag that has the ID of my one. 
So we're saying, with the pound symbol saying, find the ID. And we're going to say, uh, we're going to hide that. So if I save that and refresh over here, if I click, click me, it hides both those lines up there because they're both inside that div tag. I can refresh that, and if I click the header, nothing happens, but if I click this is some text, it hides it as well because they both are within paragraph tags. We can change that. We can come down here, and we can uh, put another div tag and group this, even though there's only going to be one item in this group. We're going to say id equals my2, and we're going to close that div tag. And up here, instead of P for paragraph tag, we're actually going to find the div tag that has the ID of my2. So now if we refresh, click the header, nothing happens. Click some text, nothing happens. But when we click, click me, it hides it. So what we're saying here is, once again, uh, when our document, so anytime there's a dollar sign in parentheses, we're looking at an element, and in this case, the element is going to be our document, our entire web page. Uh, and when it's ready, when it's done loading, when it's ready to go, we're going to say run a function. This function, once again, dollar sign parentheses, we're going to find an element. We're going to find any element, or actually, I, I don't think it's any element, I think it's the first element that has the ID tag of uh, my2. Uh, so the pound symbol is indicating that this is the ID t of the tag, my2. Then we're going to say when it is clicked, then we're going to say uh, function and that function is going to find another element in this case uh, a element with the ID because we got the pound symbol there of my one and we are going to hide it so that is your second tutorial on jQuery so far pretty simple I think um, and uh, we're gonna learn more and we're gonna start getting into a little more visual stuff uh, next we're gonna be working on uh, fading stuff in. So if you wanted to fade an element uh, in, that's what our next tutorial is going to be on. So I hope you're enjoying these. We're definitely going to, once I uh, go over some basic jQuery stuff, uh, then I'll probably do some tutorials on jQuery mobile, which will make your web page great for mobile devices, make it feel like a mobile application. Uh, and then we'll probably make uh, an application of some sort of web app. And then after that, we can look into packaging that for uh, maybe Android devices. So although I think, you know, if you're designing something on a web page, just give people a link. But some people like to have a package they can install or a package they can distribute. So uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're liking these tutorials, give this a like. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be working once we get the very basics done. Uh, we'll, we'll work on making some sort of basic application and packaging that for different operating systems, not only mobile devices, but if you wanted to, instead of give the link out, make some sort of executable uh, file um, that opens up and looks like a desktop application maybe. So uh, definitely uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, if you're interested in that, definitely let me know. I know there's a lot of stuff I've been promising doing tutorials on, and I'm working on them all. There's only so much I can get done at one time, though. So uh, I thank you for watching, and uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.